let's take a look at generating sci-fi panels in Blender. Alright guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing very well. Now just to give you a little bit of backstory, I've been modelling this ship, it took less than a day to be honest. It's not perfect, it's okay, it needs a bit of work to be honest. It's actually based off the concept art of Sean Mooney, absolutely fantastic artist, so thank you to Sean for letting me kind of demolish his work. <laughs> but personally, I think it needs a little bit more details, a couple of greebles here, a couple of sci-fi panels, stuff like this. So I started basically browsing what we have available, and on Gumroad there's this very nice sci-fi generator add-on. Now it is available for free, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. And while I'm here, just a quick shout out to Chuck CG. He recently just released the Greeble Pack version 001. This is ideal if you use things like Scatterm, maybe Bagapi, maybe even just basic geometry nodes. So you can start to get this really detailed look. So let's take a look at the add-on and quickly jump into Blender. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly drop down something like a plane, just to give you an example. On the right hand side, you can see here in the end panel, we have the panel generator and we have essentially have two different options. We have the square algorithm and we have the abstract algorithm. So the first thing that I'm going to use is I'll use the square algorithm. So you can see here, it starts to generate some nice detail. Something that you might not necessarily model. Now you have different options, you can change the inset amount, the extrude length, maximum cut, stuff like this. So let's quickly just add in another one for example. Let's move this to the right again. And we'll use the abstract algorithm. And we'll leave everything on default. And you start to get this kind of abstract look. Nice and easy, perfect. So let's say for example I select something like here, I'll go to the generate square. And we get a nice kind of greebo looking effect. Uh, let's try something like this. Now, there is no guarantee that this will work all the time. It could be down to the way your topology is, stuff like this, especially if you're using box cutter. But we'll try it, we'll hit generate square. And there we go, we get some nice detail. Something that I couldn't think of, I wouldn't model that. So it's nice to have stuff like this. And you can start to go into elements of your mesh. So for example, if you go into edit mode, you can select this polygon, we can duplicate it. In fact, what we can do is we can right click and we can separate it by selection. We can back into object mode. We can select it and we can generate a square. And that really is the sci-fi generator. Now, it might not necessarily suit your workflow. Like for example, I don't think this actually kind of suits the way the ship is. So this is where you might start to go into things like greebles, stuff like that. But anyway, that's a very quick review of the add-on. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.